Pinapor. So, Ajalin Port is one of the largest traditional ports in Ajalin. It's associated with Sheikh Zayed bin Khalifa al Also known as Zayed the First, who ruled from, from 1855 to 1905. The port was constructed in 1891 and 1898 to be a summer residence for the royal family. Oh, okay. You can explore the historical and cultural moments that make up it's stories stretching back more than a hundred years. Plan for it to visit visitor center. <laughs> Temporary exhibition. The visitor center is number one. On your right, you will see the fall. Built in 1960. In the Vatican Museum. Temporary exhibition. World War III. <laughs> the rare exhibition is used for a variety of programs through the year. The tower, this is the oldest part of Al Jalil Fort, and includes the region around Watchtower built before the port. It over four levels. It is come to symbolize the traditional architecture and cultural heritage of Al Jalil. The four, the old fort. So, the old fort, the number four is the old fort. The square four, built by Zayed, the first included a residence in the north east corner and watchtower at the corner corners. Or at the other corners, the fort and the early, earlier round tower were enclosed within the single large rectangular courtyard. Permanent exhibition, Mubarak in London and the Freedom of Pressure discover the life and times of the British explorer Wilfred Basiger, who has a photographer and travel writer known in the Arabian Peninsula as Mubarak in London. The mosque located at the southwest beyond the walls of Adelaide Fort and the mosque was built by Sheikh Zayed in the first of the Penangian Century, it reflects the traditional simple style of the historic mosque of the Arabian So, if you want to know more about the details, you can visit our contacts here. So far, this is the. Let me check what's inside. Oh, wait. So, the entrance is in the middle. So this is the visitor center which is the contemporary exhibition so Madam, 